Okay, this is the uh, AQA physics required practical. It's on thermal insulation. And the first thing we're going to do, the first part of the experiment we're going to look at is different insulation types. Okay, so this is what we're going to change. You can see in front of us here, hopefully, we've got uh, a beaker with nothing around the outside of it and a lid ready to go on top. This beaker, we've just wrapped some carpet around it. It's exactly the same beaker inside. This beaker, we've wrapped some woolen material. Uh, around it and the last speaker here we've wrapped some bubble wrap uh, uh, around it so we've got three different types of insulation and we've got a control with no insulation on whatsoever and um, quite simply we're going to put some hot water some boiling water in each of these four beakers and then we're going to measure the temperature against time we'll probably do it for about 15 20 minutes or so and we'll see uh, how they cool down and we're going to look at the rate of cooling and the idea is to plot a cooling curve so what we're going to be changing if you think just think in terms of our independent variable what we change is going to be the type of insulation okay what we're going to measure is the temperature over a particular time and what we're going to keep the same well we're definitely going to keep the same amount of water in each uh, and also we're keeping the same original pot, uh, original beaker that the insulation is going to be wrapped around. And the reason we're going to cover it is we've got a hole for a thermometer, even though we're going to use our uh, data log loggers, uh, but we need to prevent heat loss by evaporation, so we're going to have on top of them, we'll put the, the tops on top of the beakers. So all that's really left for us to do is to put the water in and then we'll get it going. Okay, and notice while we were doing that, we didn't carry these beakers to the kettle. We carried the kettle to the beakers, which in terms of our risk assessment is far safe. There's far less chance of us getting burnt by carrying one kettle to the four beakers. Right, okay, before we start off, we've just got to make sure that these have all had a chance just to settle at a correct temperature. Okay, so here's our data. You can see we've got the time recorded uh, in intervals of five minutes. We've got the temperature of the four different uh, cans. Here's our one with no insulation. Uh, so you can see it started at 88.1 degrees C. It's dropped to 64.9 degrees C, which is a fall of 23.2 degrees. Okay, on our graph here, this is the red line. So we can see that the can with no insulation has cooled down the most quickly as we would expect and then that allows us to compare the other insulators so we can see we've got a clear kind of worst insulator which is the bubble wrap because that can has cooled down the most um, and then it's quite close between the um, carpet and the wool uh, in fact although you'll notice that the carpet has finished at a higher temperature than the wool it did start at a higher temperature ideally we would want all these starting temperatures to be the same as you can see from the table and from the graph, they're not all quite the same. And you'll notice that although the carpet has cooled down by 17.4 degrees, the wool has only cooled down by 16.7 uh, degrees. Uh, so I think from the graph you can see that ending up at pretty much the same temperature, but starting cooler, the wool is actually the best of these three insulators. Okay, the other thing that's important to realise with cooling curves is that they are a curve that is to say that they, the, all of these cans cool down most quickly at the start. So the 
first five minutes is the biggest fall in temperature and that's because the further they are above room temperature the more energy will be lost from the can as they get closer and closer to room temperature the rate at which they lose energy gets less and less and less and of course eventually if these curves carry on then they, the, can, the water in the cans will all reach room temperature.